Hi, it's Pavel with a Visual Basic exercise from the book uh, Introduction to Programming using Visual Basic. This one is um, chapter 11 from, from the book, section 2, and this is the exercise 4. This is going to be quite uh, simple. We are supposed to display states, US states, and population densities ordered by, ordered by density in descending order. We are given a text file, which is over here, called uh, United States Text. And it has the uh, list of all states, the name of the state, the abbreviation, the date when they joined uh, the Union, the area of the state, and the population. So when we are uh, calculating the uh, population density, then uh, basically that's the population divided by the area. Now in this chapter, this is an OOP chapter, Object Oriented Programming, so they want us to create a class called uh, States. Now before I do, let me just uh, show you, you know, the, here's the form, one button when clicked, in a da da data grid view, it will display the name of the state and um, the density, and it will be organized or ordered by the highest density state. Alright, so uh, let's create a class. I always create a new file for each class. Uh, so I'll just create a class and I'll call it um, state. And in this state, uh, again, it's gonna kind of mim mimic the uh, text file. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five elements. We have, the, again, the name, abbreviation, date, area, and population. So I'm gonna create property, uh, public property for each of those. Now in this case we actually don't really need like the abbreviation uh, for this particular exercise, but I'm gonna use them all anyway. So it's probably property name, and it's gonna be a string. Uh, public property, uh, I'll call it abbreviation, and it's a string too, it's a two letter string. So public property uh, date, entered uh, union, that's the third element in the text file, uh, and it's going to be a date, and uh, public, again, we don't need actually that one either for this particular exercise. All we need is the name, the area, and the population for this one. So anyway, public uh, property uh, area, as, uh, and it's gonna be an integer, and over here I forgot the word property. And lastly, we'll do the public uh, uh, property for, uh, for the population. And it's an integer as well. So that's all for the properties. Uh, we don't need any constructor, but we can create one more method to, that actually calculates the uh, density. So. Uh, our public uh, function, it's going to be a function because it's going to return the value of the uh, density value. I'll call it calculate uh, density. It returns double. And within that, we will simply uh, return the population divided by area. That will give us the density. We don't need any variable for that or anything like that. And that's all for the uh, for the class itself. So we can now come uh, to our button uh, when we click the button. Uh, but before that, for the class variable, we need to create a, uh, an array that will hold the objects of the state uh, class. Now, I already know the size of it, obviously it's 50, because we have 50 states, but um, you know, what if it wasn't a full, uh, like let's say if we decided to delete one of these, uh, then it would uh, get out of bounds. So I'm not going to declare the size of the array just yet. Instead, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the uh, file, and well, let me just close these uh, Solution Explorer and Properties, and I'll close the two, two boxes as well. So all we're going to be doing now is uh, just coding. So I'll create a variable called file, file array of string that will hold the input from the text file. So we go to 
io dot uh, file dot and it's going to be the read all lines from the file and the file is called united states txt so this line will populate the array of file line by line of everything that's in the text file again at this moment we have 50 states so it's going to be one line uh, after another until the uh, end of the file now i will do the redeem of my state uh, array like i said i know it's 50 but in this case i'm just simply going to map it uh, the size of it to the uh, size of the file itself so um, i will simply do the as for the size i will do the file that count minus one so no matter how the file changes the state will always hold uh, all the uh, all the lines uh, from the file all right so now uh, we need to populate the array uh, remember we are we are populating with the object of state so uh, we'll do simply for uh, i as uh, integer equals zero to uh, and i'll do the state uh, dot count minus one uh, that will give us the again the whole size of the array and we will populate each element with the with the values from our state object before we do that we, we have the declaration for the state but we did not instantiate the object yet so we go do the uh, states of i remember this is a uh, this is the um, the array so each element will be in instantiated to a new state object and now we have access to all the properties so now when i do the state i that's for the index uh, dot name i have an access to it and the name basically is uh, the uh, the first part of the string we are going to split the string remember they are delimited by the comma and it is going to be index zero for the name of the state so uh, over here when it says file uh, of the same index of i that now we will split it we will split it delimited by the comma and this is the element zero this is the which is give us the name and assign it to our uh, name property uh, I will also do the state i uh, area because we need that uh, to calculate the uh, density and that equals the file of i uh, when we split it again the same split by the uh, comma and this one is the element if you look at the uh, text file this is element 0 1 2 the area is element 3 and the population is element 4 so the element would be 3 and finally we, uh, the, uh, the population equals the same file uh, that split and this is the element 4 we don't need the like i said before we don't need the abbreviation and we don't need the uh, date when the when the, the state joined the union so now this loop will populate the uh, array of object of state with the values that we need and now uh, th this is uh, actually you know what i have this in my button display click uh, uh, event which i don't really want what i want i want to move this i'll copy paste it and I'll move it to the uh, to the form load. All all of this will be performed uh, on the load of the form. When we click the uh, button itself, we will display the uh, result in the data grid view. And to do that, we we can do a simply uh, a, a link query. So I'll just do a 
query equals from uh, alcohol either state. Now I'll call it some just s, so it's not confusing. We are not using the same uh, state for this particular uh, uh, query because the state is where we are going to be uh, using it in. So from s in states because that's our that is our I mean from s in state that is the uh, array of objects of state. You know what? Let me just do it this way. I'll do it a plural as states because the object is called state. So I'll rename all these to states. Just so it's clear, you know, which one's which. Like that. Okay, so now you have a query of S in the, our array of states. And and in that we go we do the uh, we will find the density. So we will let the then city as uh, double equal, and we can format it directly uh, right away or in on this line. So we will format it to like a format number, so we don't get all the decimal places. And we will call. Remember, in our state class, we have the call density calculate density uh, function. So we are going to call it from our query. So format uh, number, and we will do the state. I mean the s dot uh, calculate density. And we only want the uh, let's say three decimal places. So uh, yeah, let me see what I have here. Why is it a uh, squiggly? Anyway, I'll come back to it. Ah, there, there we go. It was just not cached. So I have the density, and now we have to order it uh, by the density itself. Then uh, CD uh, in a descending order, the highest density first. And that's our query, and we will simply select from it the state that. Uh, I mean the s, sorry, that name, and the uh, density. These are the values that we will be displaying in our data grid view. And to do that, it's uh, I the I named it the output. The GV output is my data grid view. So we will assign the data source to our query uh, to list. And we will uh, we can output the headers uh, like just so they they named properly. So the columns, the first column is element zero, and the, uh, the header text, and that equals I'll call it state. And the GV output columns. So that's the second column, which is element one. That header text. And that will in, uh, co be called, I don't know, population then city. All right, so let's run it. Let's see what we get. All right, so our form load, so uh, our load event uh, was okay. We got the file into our array and everything. So when I click the button, I have the state and the density, and you can see they organized or ordered by the highest density. So New Jersey has the highest density, and they have three decimal places, just like we uh, formatted it right here in our uh, in our query. So New Jersey is the highest, and Alaska is the lowest density. So it seems to be working fine. All right. So to recap, we made the we created our state class with public properties, then kind of mapped the input from the text file, the name, the abbreviation, and all that, and uh, one public method that calculates the density, which is population divided by area. And then we went to our form class, and uh, on our load uh, event, when the form loads, we uh, loaded the file and put everything in that file to our uh, variable called file, which, which is an array. We declared our, or redeclared our um, array of objects called uh, states. 
and in a loop we assigned we created a new object for each state and assigned the name area and population we disregarded the abbreviation and the date when they joined the union after that when everything was loaded uh, then uh, we clicked the button and we performed our link query which basically looped through the uh, array of states and uh, calculated density by calling the method calculate density in the uh, class state and we formatted it with uh, three decimal places and out of that we selected the name and the density of the state and we simply passed it into our uh, data grid view we also do, did the rename the header and uh, for both of those uh, columns to state and population density so when I run it now you can see the header is state and population density all right so uh, yeah that's uh, that was pretty quick I hope uh, it was helpful if you liked it please click the like button if you're not subscribed please do so and I will see you next time take care